Auckland is not alone in having transport problems on the global city stage. Like many other cities, our people struggle with congestion. It means reduced productivity, economic output, not to mention high frustration levels for, compute, uh, for commuters. As I said earlier, some poor decisions were made in the past, like ripping up our tram lines. What happened was that in the 1950s, all of our civic leaders and transport ex experts went to Los Angeles. They looked at Los Angeles and said, that is the way that we need to build cities in the future. Massive urban sprawl and we build motorways out to them. They saw it as the future. But over the years, Auckland just became more and more congested. Now people can sit in traffic queues on motorways for sometimes hours as they get to and from work. It is quite clear that wider, bigger motorways and roads lead to greater congestion, not less. Yes, we need roads for cars and buses, but we need alternatives, and the best alternative, and Singapore is most definitely an example of this, is very clearly mass transit around rail. So that has been our focus. We have doubled the tracks where once there was only one track in our suburban rail network. One track. We put two tracks down. I know it's hard for you to believe in places like Singapore, but it's been our honest truth. Then we replaced diesel motor engines in our trains. We had been discussing doing electric trains for 90 years. We have finally finished putting electric trains across our suburban rail network. With these new trains, we can now increase rail network capacity and the frequency of services. And of course, surprise, surprise, it's been an awesome success. Our rail patronage has grown by 22% per year, or about 2.5 million extra rail patronage trips a year. Now, these numbers are small. You probably do that number in a day. But we, we're coming off a very low base. But as you can see, the old story, you build it, they'll use it, is most definitely applied. The city rail link will hook into the existing rail system and support economic population growth. It is a two and a half kilometre tunnel, basically to connect up the suburban rail network, another discussion that we've been having for 90 years, and we will start that tunnel in November this year. It will make train travel all over Auckland more efficient and cut the length of journeys significantly. We are also greatly improving and increasing our cycling network and pedestrians are delighted with our new pedestrian friendly shared places and spaces. We will build another 60, 60 kilometres of cycleways over the next three years. We continue to engage with Aucklanders on transport issues and in the last few weeks I've been including a series of public meetings on transport Every week I go into a different part of our community and we talk transport. So I'm talking to people about what council is doing, why they're doing it, and listening to their concerns at the same time. 